Hello and welcome everyone to some more Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Last episode we got another potion and then we conveniently were in the right place to hear that Slytherin plans on rigging the Quidditch match tournament. But instead of playing in that little Quidditch match, we're going to be Ron and Hermione as we stop the rigging. Because this game doesn't have Quidditch matches. Fun. Nothing I'd rather do than play as these two characters instead of, you know, doing a thrilling Quidditch match right now. <sighs> I want to say it's over here, I think, in the courtyard area. But I could be forgetting. That could that could be something else I'm thinking of. Look, there it is. Okay, so do I need Buckbeat? Also, I thought this was timed. I don't know why, but I was thinking this was like a timed thing. And it was like, if you don't do it in time, Slytherin wins the Quidditch match. Which would be kind of a cool concept if they had something like that, where it's like, you have to do certain things at a certain point in time, and if you fail to do it, the story still progresses. Okay, I, I swear, I hate when games spell every little thing out for you. Let me figure it out. Let me process it and try and see if what I thought works. Don't tell me right there. Like, jeez. Takes the fun out of the game when you just get things handed to you instantly. Anyhow. Uh, wait, is Buckbeak down here? Okay, yes. But, okay, anyways. Um, it would be cool if they had it where it was like certain things were timed and you had to do it at a certain point. But if you fail to do it in time, the story still progresses, but Slytherin gets those points or whatever. Hufflepuff, I don't know. Yep. Yep, thanks. Thanks for telling me uh, again. So it is timed. Okay, I thought there was a time thing to it. I wasn't crazy. Come on. Go up. Fly, Pegasus. Man, they give you a lot of time. How tricky is this? I feel like... I need to get to the Quidditch ball crate. Unless I'm just doing this completely wrong. Maybe I'm not supposed to get off of Buckbeak, but... Ron, come on. Oh, wait, I see. I gotta change my spell from fire to ice. Glacius, and how did we get so much more time? What just happened? Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but this seems like a very ridiculous amount of time for this. Should have started the time when we were all the way down outside of the potion classroom not all right now that you're on buckbeat we're gonna give you 20 minutes to get it now, to go to the Quidditch stadium. now it is possible the time still goes on from this point forward okay now it makes a little more sense it's a little more respectful uh now that i see that we have to go all the way to the quiz match i was about to say if it's like you get that and then a cutscene activates and it's like everything's happy <laughs> That's the stupidest time limit thing I've ever seen. Am I going to have enough? Come on. Okay, see that? That's so annoying. Because the very last episode, we were in an area like that, and it wouldn't let me launch off. Not enough space or some crap. But in that little spot, because it is convenient to the story, I had enough space, whatever. All right, Buckbeak. I've got to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Yeah, it should be right here, unless there's like another entrance, but that makes no sense. I should just have to go here. Boy, they give you a lot of time. I had 30 seconds to spare. 
really missing that tension element. They need to give you time, but not that much. This gave the Gryffindor team the help that they needed, allowing Harry to catch the Golden Snitch and win not only the game, but the Quidditch Cup as well. So what would have happened if Slytherin still won? Would they not have been disqualified for attempt of cheating? God. Dumbledore's soft. You were fantastic. What's the matter with Hagrid? Hagrid? It's no use. Beaky's gonna be executed at sunset. I couldn't help him. Oh, Hagrid, what can we do? There's nothing you can do. The time's set and that's it. So you just run along and turn in. I gotta go and make Beaky comfortable. Maybe we could... Oh, I don't know. No, Hagrid's right. There's really nothing we can do. We should turn in. At least it's Beaky and not Buckbeak. That that would really be unfortunate. End of the day. Ah oh, yes, the winter background is still there, even though we're clearly in the summertime now. This game's so slow. The house point totals are to be counted. Spoiler! <clears throat> we're winning. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Oh my god. God, I wish there was some excitement. Can't you say Slytherin or Ravenclaw? Somebody every once in a while is in the lead. Does it always have to be us being awesome? I just want a little challenge. Harry, Ron, and Hermione paced the Gryffindor common room, worried about Hagrid. They're going to execute Buckbeak tonight. No, Bucky. To go and see Hagrid. Or Beaky. He can't just sit there on his own waiting for the executioner. You're right. Let's go. Why'd we turn in? What was the point of turning in if we're just gonna go right back out there? Why didn't we just stay out there? Jeez, they all just like walking downstairs, don't you? God. Dun 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 dun. Oh no, it's locked. Guess we'll have to take the long way. Wouldn't have been a problem if we didn't go. How come Harry's stupid spells keep switching? I don't get that. Oh wait, no, I gotta be wrong, because the trolls. I guess their spells switch every chapter. Oh my god, is it just giving me magic beans? Okay, I was about to say, you gotta give me one. Because if I don't have any on me to begin with, we're screwed. I knew I had some, but I like to have all of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. You trolls don't want this. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? What's in the chest? Open the chest. Oh wow, they actually weren't excited about a wizard card. I must have that one. Or like ten of them. You'll never catch me! Yes. More ammunition. Good. Ha! Man, those trolls are so easy. Go ahead and pick up a couple more supplies. It's always good to have. Wait, I didn't get this one. Stink pellet. Come on, give me more. All right, now we're loaded up on all that. Any beans? <clears throat> Potions. Okay, cool. I actually need to go freaking visit Fred and George. One of these episodes, we're going to do it. I'll try this episode. But I don't know how this episode goes. Hurry up. Hagrid needs us. Harry, shut up. D 
Dun 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 Oh my god. <clears throat> Why must we be all the way up here on the seventh floor? Also, if you didn't want the students to like sneak around and stuff, could you not make a spell that basically locked the stairs so that they wouldn't go up and down at after a certain time? Would that not completely prevent uh, any sort of curfew breaking if you just like Dumbledore or any of the professors put a spell on those stairs where they like had a curfew setting and the stairs could not go up or down they were stuck in their spot and no student could like break the spell because it'd be like a high level spell that they could not just break easily but no professors are retarded in this school I wonder, I haven't really kept up with it a lot, but I am kind of curious as to when the Harry Potter on the PlayStation 4 game comes out. Like that big, like, I think it's like semi or full open world type of experience, but not like open world in the sense that you can like fly around the muggle world, but like, I, I, I haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but I think you can explore pretty much anywhere in Hogwarts freely. And just do a bunch of crazy stuff. I, I think that's what it's like. I don't know exactly. I know it looks interesting though. It's on PS5. I don't know if it's going to be on the Xbox Series X. Don't really care. And I, and I don't think that's a Latin. Uh, or I don't think that is a PS4 gen. Hagrid needs us. As Harry, Ron, and Hermione arrived at Hagrid's hut. The executioner came to seal Buckbeak's fate. He's here. Don't let him see you. I love that it's nighttime in this game. Oh, Buckbeak, how could they? Scabbers, it's okay, Scabbers. Come back. Ah, gotcha. Ron was dragged into the Whomping Willow. Harry and Hermione chased after him. You cut a big part right there. Now there's a pretty big <clears throat> story element that did not <clears throat> come to fruition. Cool, cool, cool. So we're getting closer. Closer and closer to the end of this adventure. First we have to do our Stupid time travel stuff too, which is dumb. Literally no point of it. Oh wait. I forgot. You can't destroy shields. I gotta pull that crap in. Sure you didn't. You're just behind me and you shot your stupid arrows. Or your uh wand at me. Oh, that dude just threw his shield. He's like, screw it. Oh, no, you got shields, too. And you gotta shut up. Let me do my thing. I'm Harry Potter. I am the chosen one. Said to bring balance to the wizarding world. Dear God, I hate, I hate these enemies. <clears throat> I would say these are probably... These and those little spirit guys are some of the worst. They're just so annoying. I don't like the spirit guys because you have to be Ron using that uh, spell of uh, light. Jeez, watch where you're aiming. That's unfortunate. You shouldn't suck at what you do. Oh, I hate these stink bombs. I wonder what it'd be like if they actually remade these games. Because obviously games like this have like a nostalgic charm to them. 
especially the first three. First three are great. Um, like I said, <clears throat> I only played up to... Uh, Hermione's knocked out. I've only played the first four. But I never beat uh, Goblet of Fire. I didn't like it. Give me that stupid shield. <clears throat> Man. Great. We won. Uh, I thought you were still dead. Well, now I have to be Hermione. Let me go here. All right, Hermione, drink that potion. Take your time. We only got killer dragons. And I'm finally getting back to playing um, in my own time some God of War 4 on the PlayStation 4. Because last time I played it, uh, Dang it. Screw off. Last time I was playing it, uh, PlayStation 4 screwed up, and I had to start all my games over. So now I'm finally getting back around to it. There, there. Now you have no source of power. Freeze and die. That's all we ask. Freeze... This isn't very effective. Why does this spell suck? Gotta be like way over here. Like, I'm not sure why I can't freeze this guy. Turn blue so I can kill you. He's already blue, so I don't know. Go away! Jeez. That was annoying. I don't know what was up with that one. Hook it. Okay, we got that going. Perfect. Alright, sweet. Hermione, get up. I gotta strengthen my characters here. Alright, so we have that. Switch our powers back. Switch back over to Hermione. <clears throat> I don't know how Hermione has so many potions. Because Ron's the one that can like shift around through uh, bookshelves and stuff. So you would think... Ron would have the mo maybe he does I don't know I don't really care for Ron all his uh spells suck and his enemies that he has to go up against to use those spells suck too so it's like why bother no Hermione stop it do not There. Your source of power is gone. And soon, so will you. Hey, Harry. Here's an idea. Come help. Got it. Oh, come on. Get up, get up, get up. One more. Oh, no. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Just die. Just die. Make my life easy. Couple little cakes or whatever. What else do I have to deal with? I was kind of hoping to get to Ron before the end of this episode, but we're about to hit that 20 minute mark. 
Usually about 20 minutes, 22 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, not these idiots. No, don't, don't spell it. Well, that moron Harry getting poisoned two seconds into the whole situation. Like, come on. You couldn't have waited. No, you don't. Alright, so Harry's got cured. Okay, so now I need... Wait. Is she dead again? It won't let me switch the characters, so I don't know uh, what to do here. Just gonna go ahead and go on. I need some antidote. Yeah, I, I know, I know, but uh, yeah. Don't know what to do there. I was gonna switch to you, but it won't let me. Is there another po? Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, that's not the one I needed. Wow, really? Can I switch back? Okay, hold on. I can do this. Because I think it has to do with her life. It's too small for me to switch. So maybe... Try this. Thanks. I'll give her that. That gives her back her health. Now I can switch back to her. And then she should have antidote. So now we can... Give her the antidote. Because she should still be losing health, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Whatever. Makes no sense to me, but sure. So the cure is to just wait it out. Alright. Let me get my... Reparo! I swear, my natural reaction every time I'm on that menu is to push B to exit out. I feel like I should just stay here and let Harry uh, do all the killing. Well, she has plenty of potions now. Let me get this moron Harry who just like never wants to follow. He just wants to do things long range. Oh, get up. Harry. Now I gotta switch back to this. Oh god, this part's so annoying. All the freaking spell switching you have to do. Give me that! Did you kill him? Good job. How did... Um... Sirius Black carry Ron this far? And we haven't even heard as much of a scream from him. Drop it! Push that button. Okay, I might just go up to the top of here and see what happens. Because we're getting close to that time. The tunnel from the Whomping Willow led into the Shrieking Shack. Harry discovered that the Black Dog was in fact Sirius Black, and that Black had not been trying to murder him, but had in fact been hunting down Peter Pettigrew. The man that had truly betrayed Harry's parents to Lord Voldemort. No! He can go to Azkaban. God, here you blew it. Right there. Right there, we could have just saved everything. But you blew it. What good is Azkaban? They marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts. The full moon rose, and Professor Lupin transformed into a werewolf.
If only Sirius had Midna with him. Okay, am I going to get to play again? Because I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Oh, yeah. This is so stupid. I know the spell to stop these guys. Why isn't Hermione the one dragging him? Alright, cool. So, next episode, we are going to drag this useless guy to safety, wherever that is. And uh, see how much more we have. We got, I wouldn't imagine more than three episodes of this. Because I don't think the time travel part is very long at all. But we'll see what happens. So I want to end it here. And I will see you all on the next one. See you then.